Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I have a super pretty card to show you and I'm almost embarrassed to tell you something. So hang tight, I'm going to be incognito while I tell you my embarrassing story. I am so embarrassed. I completely forgot to show you this bundle. I'm so glad I remembered it. It's gone May 31st. Boom! How does that even happen? I don't know how it happens, but I'm sure glad I got it in before it was over. <laughs> so how'd you like that? I completely forgot to show this to you guys, so I wanted to make sure that I did it today. We have the So Detailed Thinlets. These are absolutely beautiful. These two dies make like a, whoops, let me throw this around a little bit more, make a little belly band that you can fold over. You've got a little area here to stamp. And then we've also got another little belly band type image. And this matches the um, falling petals embossing folder. So you get three dies in this set. And I have to tell you that the So Detailed Thinlets is on sale for $23.00 and 10 cents. What a great deal. And then we have the Sew and Love stamp set that matches. And this is on sale for $15. So normally this bundle would cost $47.50 and right now it is on sale both of these for $38.10. So great savings here. Let's get started and I will show you how amazingly simple this card is to make. So first thing I'm going to do here is bring in my layers of cardstock and my ribbon, let you know how big these are. We've got a flirty flamingo card base that is eight and a half by five and a half, two pieces of whisper white at four by five and a quarter, and then a scrap of flirty flamingo that is two and three quarters by five and a half. I've also got this dazzling diamonds glimmer paper. Oh, I love this stuff. This is just um, a quarter of an inch by five and a quarter. So quarter by five and a quarter. And then we've got a six and a half inch piece of the flirty flamingo ribbon. And this ruched ribbon is absolutely beautiful. I'm super excited because it's still available. It is retiring. And it's on sale for $5.60. So huh, we've got all kinds of sales stuff going on right now with the retirement list. All right, so I'm just going to fold my card base in half here. And we're going to start stamping right away. Got both of my layers. Oh, one other thing that I used is the stylized birthday. This is one of our single stamps. I use this on the inside of my card. Flirty Flamingo ink here, and I'm going to stamp up the inside of my card first. I'll stamp my happy birthday here. And then I love this flower. I just think it's so, so pretty. And I always like to stamp up the inside of my cards to make those pretty also. As long as I'm going to town here, I'm going to stamp this on the corner of my envelope. So we'll have that ready to roll too. Okay, for the outside of our card or the front, I'm going to use the greeting that says a day to celebrate. And I'm going to stamp that in the middle fairly close to the bottom. Now, if you'd like, there's two different flowers in here. You can stamp some little flowers or a big flower down here in the bottom. I'm just going to go with these little flowers. And I'm going to kind of rotate them a little bit so they're not, you know, they're a little more random. And then, where's our scrap? Here's our scrap right here. I'm done stamping, so I'm going to close this up before I, you know, drop stuff in it. Do you guys ever do that? Ugh, it's maddening, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to put this thinlet onto my layer here. I'm going to run this through the big shot. And... Let me just bring this over here so you can see what I'm doing. I've got my precision cutting plate on top of my magnetic plate. So this is the way I like to stack things. And I'm going to put a cutting plate on top of that and run this through. When I do these really intricate dies, I like to 
run them through and then back because that way I know that I have completely cut out what I need to cut out. And then I look at the back of them, make sure that they are completely die cut. Now let's watch the magic with this happen. This pops right off of here. And I'm going to use my Big Shot die brush and I am going to get all of these little pieces out of here. Do you remember a time when we had to poke these all out because we really didn't have the right tools? Look at that. Holy cow. And um, pick this up. If there's anything left in it, you can pick it up and poke it out just like that. All the pieces are out. Do you like this? This is my paper pumpkin box. And I put my Big Shot die brush and foam pad in here. And then I just tap it off and I'm ready to go with the next one and all my little pieces stay right in there. Okay, here comes our die. Beautiful, isn't that just beautiful? It's beautiful, I absolutely love this. And here's the front of our card. Let's get this back here. Now here's how I chose to adhere this. I could have used a sponge with some glue and put some glue on here, but I didn't really think it was necessary. And I think that it adds a little interest to this card that I'm not gluing that part down. So I'm just going to get it up here close to the top and then glue it down right here. And now this is all loose and it doesn't, it's just kind of cool looking. I don't know, there was something about it that made me happy. Here we go, little line of glue right here. I'm going to put this tiny little piece of glimmer paper on my card. Take my scissors and trim my end off. I always like to leave these little pieces a little bit longer and then trim them because I really do despise when they're short because that kind of ruins everything. And I like to use real tape when I am putting ribbon on, like, you know, scotch tape, real tape. That's what I mean. Because if you ever get swap cards in the mail, I know that if I would take a snail um, tape runner and run it across here and stick my ribbon onto it, it falls apart. So I know that happens and I don't want my cards falling apart so I choose to use real tape on the back. Oh my gosh, isn't that so pretty? I told you guys this card was super easy and I'm just so ashamed of myself that I forgot to show you this bundle because it is absolutely beautiful. But good for you if you do want to get this bundle you can hop on over to my Stampin' Up! store and um, order it and it's on sale. So that's exciting. Here we go on the inside. So yeah, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like to order this, got the ribbon on sale, the um, thinlets, and also the stamp set all on sale. If you'd like to order anything, you can hop on my blog, astampabove.com, and you'll find an online online order button in the right hand column. You just click right on there and make sure you look for the hostess code in that column also because when you use that you get special benefits. Check it out. Head over to my blog. Here we go. Super simple, right? Fabulous. What a fabulous card and so quick and easy to make. Make sure you click down here and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss anything coming out in the future. We also have a brand new catalog coming out June 1st. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please get in touch with me. Pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above .com. I would be happy to mail you a catalog. Make sure you add a little sparkle to someone's day and send them a card.